Welcome back, guys. <clears throat> uh, today, I thought I would uh, go back and review uh, the new Linux Lite 2.6. Now, I did a review on the beta um, about a month ago, I guess, maybe a little bit longer. But I, I did a review of the beta release, which was very nice. And I even installed it on my uh, Chromebook, my Acer C720. And that went fine also. Linux Lite has always been one of my favorite distributions. Um, it's so well designed and so well put together. Uh, everything just works. It's a great replacement for Windows for anyone, anyone in your family. If you're, if you're faced with that situation and you have somebody in the family who wants to get away from Windows, Linux Lite would probably be one of the best alternatives that you could provide for them. Now, my only complaint uh, about Linux Lite is the fact that there is no UEFI install. So it's legacy only, and uh, that's a little bit of a stumbling block, but it certainly wouldn't prevent me from using it. So I went ahead and I downloaded the latest version, and I installed it, and that's what you see here. Now. I'll tell you that Linux Lite configured my Ethernet, my wireless, right out of the box, no problems at all. I installed GUVC View and Kazam, both working fine, no problems at all. I have um, gone through briefly to see some of their new features. Uh, and I'll go over a few with those, with you. But when you first uh, sign in, when you first log into Linux Lite, you get this welcome screen. First thing it asks you to do is install the updates, which I which I already did, and that's what that's something you should do no matter when you what uh, what distribution you install. When you first install a distribution, it's always wise to do an update. So I went ahead and di did that. Um, and I'm going to go through this welcome screen just to see what. Okay, so I already did the updates. There's hardware recommendations, online support. Uh, I'll go over the forum uh, website with you in a minute. There's a hardware database, a help manual, which is very well designed. I mean, not many distributions put together this type of uh, a help manual. It covers pretty much everything. And. Um, you can pretty much find any answer that you're looking for in this help manual. It's got pretty, it's really comprehensive. It's they've done a great job with the help manual. Um, and of course, there is a, a button for social media to share, donate, of course, because none of these distributions can stay um, viable without help from the community. And if you're using a distribution on a regular basis, you should contribute to it. Even if it's a small contribution, um, you should contribute. And so, uh, enough said about that. So, they, uh, Jerry and his, his gang over at Linux Lite, they've done a tremendous job with this distribution. So, I'm going to go ahead and close out the welcome screen. And let's take a look at a couple of things here now. They do have, um, as I mentioned, help manual and the updates, which is it's in my favorites because that's what I used recently. But um, you can see file search, Kazam, and UVC view, which I installed. Now, for settings, you've got all of the typical uh, XFCE settings and very very self-explanatory you've got all your typical accessories now you do have a backup program and um, they've configured it very well so you, you can you can uh, basically configure what you want to back up how often you want to back it up it's very very nice and that's one of the new additions for graphics, there's an image viewer and GIMP and a scanner. Firefox and Thunderbird Mail. And as you can see, it's not a uh, very 
uh, bloated distribution. There's basically what you need to get going and then you can add to it as you see fit. For multimedia there's of course your volume control, your VLC and a CD DVD burner. I added GUVC View and Kazam. Office uh, you've got the uh, spreadsheet presentation documents and a PDF viewer and then your system tools you've got uh, various uh, great uh, additions that Linux Lite has done exclusively and you can see now I'll, I'll go over a couple with you Lite software now you can see that um, it's going to update all the sources and then present you with a list. Um, you can select install, remove, or exit. I'm going to select install. And basically what they've done, which is terrific, what they've done is put together a list of the, of the most popular programs that you might want to install. So you've got Apple Trailers plugin, Chrome, and Chromium. Dropbox, File Search, you've got a Games Pack, Google Talk Browser plugin, you've got a Devices Manager for your phones, your, your iPhones and your iPads, uh, Pigeon for Instant Messaging, Java, Kodi, the uh, media player, you've got Clementine for Music, KeyPass X for Password Manager, Play on Linux, Remote Desktop, restricted extras that's very important um, you can they make it easy for you to install but you can do it through the terminal also Skype Steam Team Viewer Torrent software there's a there's a secure web browser tour uh, open shot for video editing virtual box weather monitor you've got GUVC view which I uh, installed it. Looks like it was well. I already installed it. Yeah, it says installed. So, uh, but they do give you that option. If I hadn't, then I could have done it through this light software module, uh, and and of course Wine. So let's say for example I want to install the restricted extras, and uh, let's say Dropbox just for now. And so it asks you if you want to proceed and then it'll go ahead and install those two. Very easy, very intuitive. Um, like I say, for a Windows replacement, this is about as good as it gets. Uh, anyone in your family would be able to easily handle this. So that's the light software. Now the packages were installed successfully and I can exit out of it. Okay, now one of the new features that is really, really nice is the Light Control Center. And if you take a look at it, it's uh, laid out in such a way that you can pretty much review all of the information on your computer. So you've got my computer, you've got all of the statistics, what you're running, how much uh, mem memory you have, um, the host name, the the uh, the kernel, uh, the software that you're running, the operating system. Uh, it's Linux Lite 2.6. I've got my graphics and sound, storage, uh, 103 gig available, 3.9 used. You've got desktop configuration, a variety of ways to configure your desktop and you can see all of the options. You've got w window manager tweaks, screen saver, uh, remove networks icon, you can add the home icon, you can add the home icon, the, the uh, remove the home, the trash. You've got for example window manager tweaks if you want to enable compositing you can. Uh, you, if you want to place windows at the center of the screen I usually move it up more towards the large, large end. So you can pretty much configure anything here. Now I like a different wallpaper. So let's see what we can do. 
think the one that I like is not here. Let me add let me add my uh, pictures folder because I believe I have it in there. There it is. Okay, so there it is. That's the one I want. As you can see, it's really, really nice. Now, you've got all kinds of options in the desktop configuration. Software, this is an easy way to edit your sources. You can install and remove software. You can upgrade your Linux Lite. Install updates. This is a link to the Lite software, which we already reviewed, and your preferred applications. Hardware, if you need to install proprietary drivers, you can. Or if you want to switch back to the open source, uh, it's a driver uh, install program. Monitor settings, power management, removable drives, configure your printer, mouse, and touchpad. You've got all of your network options and all of your system configurations. You've got Gparted. System Back is the backup program that they've put in for the 2.6 and it, it, it's a very nice backup program. Volume Control, Session and Startup. So if you want any particular uh, programs to start when you boot, that's how you'll set it up there light tweaks let's click on that now these these are basically maintenance tasks that Linux Lite has set up a uh, configuration screen for they tell you there are two levels safe and caution so for example if you want to uh, automatically remove packages that are uh, installed for programs that are no longer present you click that and basically this is a good way to clean up your system removes you can remove cache files um, it's got a variety of useful features so let's say, say for example you want to remove the six recently used items from your whisker menu you can do that you can remove your thumb thumbnail cache now it's telling me I've got 1.6 megabytes uh, of thumbnail cache that I could remove. So again, this is a good way to clean up your system. And so within the control center, you can see it's it's tremendous. I really, really like what they've done. And it's very easy, very intuitive. Okay, now the desktop shows your mounted and unmounted drives but if you go into settings you can adjust that so let's say for example I don't want that but I do want my home file system and trash I can put those up now let's say for example I want a smaller icon I go down to 40 I usually like 42 um, now when you when you hover your mouse over the the icon you see how big that pop-up is telling me what that is that's awful big I, I usually reduce that that's this 128 I usually take that down to about 60 that's much better so it's got all of the all of the standard features and so many more that Linux Lite has added that just make the whole experience of switching from Windows much much easier now if I look at the Linux Lite forum uh, Jerry is the uh, designer the lead Linux he's the Linux Lite creator and he went he he's always available he answers questions all the time on the uh, forum so if you have any questions um, and you post them up on the forum Jerry the actual Linux Lite creator he may be the one to respond he's been very very helpful to me now one of the things he asked in his in his latest uh, suggestion thread because he's always asking for feedback 
on what can be done to make Linux Lite better. I, of course, keep asking for the UEFI install. But there are, because really that's the only thing that's missing in my opinion. Everything else looks great. Now, one of the things they've added with 2.6 uh, is a, a, a dark theme. So let's, let's take a quick look at that. So now there is uh, this Zukitwo Dark Reloaded. That's the dark theme that Jerry provided for 2.6. Okay. I'm going to get that out of the way and close, minimize that. So that's the dark theme that Jerry provided for 2.6. Now, as you can see, it's very nice. Now, I also like the icons, the Fienza icons. Uh, they keep it simple. Uh, Fienza happens to be my favorite icon package, and I use it pretty much everywhere. Um, but in this case, you can see that I've got... Uh, Add Weta Graphene. And the reason I installed that is Jerry uh, put up a message on the website asking uh, if we could take a look at it to let him know what we think. Because he's considering going with Add Weta Graphene for 2.8. Now, if I open a window just so we can see what the uh, results are, if I click on Add Weta Graphene, you can see the difference and if I go back to now Jerry if you're watching this I like the dark panel of Zukitwo dark but I I like the window uh, cosmetics on the Adwaita graphene the panel is a little too light on the Adwaita graphene in my opinion but um, you can see that Jerry and all of the uh, nice folks involved with Linux Lite are very interested in your feedback. They ask for your feedback on a regular basis and they use your information to design the next release. And that's really nice because you feel more like you've made a contribution. And so that is the new 2.6 Linux Lite. I have not found any issues at all. I highly recommend it. And it, as I said, if you're looking for a Windows replacement for anyone in your family, whether they be young or old, uh, Linux Lite would be a great uh, option for you. So uh, that's it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Take care.